Good evening. For those of you whom are listening at the sound of my voice on this Tuesday, September 28, 2010, as many of you already know, another unfortunate tragedy has occurred, has occurred, and this time a major landslide in Mexico. And this prayer is for the family who are lost of loved ones and those family also whom are praying hour by hour and hope that their loved ones will be recovered from the landslides. Many, many homes has been involved. Sometimes we wonder, Lord, when is enough is going to be enough? But my brothers and sisters in Christ, we are not immune just because we are Christians. We know Jesus was a Christian. And he came not to rule the world, but to save the world. And yet, in order to do that, God gave his only begotten son life so that we could have salvation. And what I'm trying to tell you right now is that faith is all that you have when we go through trials and tribulations. And my prayer goes out to all Mexicans and non-Mexicans that may have gotten caught up in this landslide. And may we pray, O oh Lord, who art the strength that suffers and the comforts of those who are heavy of heart, incline thy ears, we beseech thee to the prayers of all who cry unto thee in their trouble, stress, and distress. And uphold the faint and relieve the suffering, console the sad. And may thy face to shine upon the families of Mexico who lost their lives. And O oh Lord, thy lover soul, whose wisdom is beyond our understanding, surround the family lost with your love, that they may not be overwhelmed by their loss, but have confidence in your goodness and strength to meet the day and days to come, O oh Lord. And may our Lord Jesus Christ be near the families to defend them, within them to refresh them, around them to preserve them, before them to guide them, behind them to justify them, above them to bless them. And let their lives rings with their families and the fathers and the Holy Ghost, and their souls are bound up in ours forever, O Lord. <laughs> we see them now with the eyes of memory, their faults forgiven, their virtue grown larger. And so does goodness live and weakness fade from sight. And we remember them with the gratitude and bless their names. And their memory is a blessing forever. And we remember as well the fallen ones, but yesterday was part of our community. And to all who care for them and labor for all people, we pay tribute, O oh Lord. And may we prove worthy of carrying on the tradition of our faith for the task is now their families. And their souls are bound up in all of ours forever, Lord. And we give you thanks that they now live and resign with you, Father. And as a great crowd of witness, and they surround us with their blessing and offer your humbleness and praise and grace, that these lives live forevermore in your kingdom. And let us remember and thank God who worship for making us your children by grace and for staining us with the bread of life. We thank you, Lord, for your presence wherever we have gathered. We thank you, Lord, for the pardon of our sins, especially when Christians have renewed their life as Christians who restore us to the fellowship of your faithful people, the saints. We thank you, Lord, for the faith of all who have gone before us through their encouragement and to their family. We thank you, Lord. This we ask and say thank you in your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen.